A man is accused of faking having Down syndrome so that women would bathe him, which is great lengths he's gone to to have women bathe him. To pretend to have Down syndrome, first of all, it's not easy. Uh, you got to be quite an actor. And then, <laughs> to, I mean, how long did he do this? <laughs> I love having women bathe me. I mean, it's like in my top ten things that I love, probably. A woman bathing me? What, are you kidding me? But, I, you know, if I was going to fake any illness to make that happen, it would be like... What's that one uh, where they swear uncontrollably? Like Tourette's. I could fake Tourette's. Uh, you just get shit, shit, <laughs> piss, shit, piss. I could do that. I mean, I'm from Boston. We swear all the time anyways. I mean, we drop F-bombs every other word, which you should know that. And then also know how much I keep that under control when I do weird AF news. Of course, as Michael liked to point out, occasionally my F-bomb slips out. But, you know, in my defense, I'm from Boston and I'm really cutting it down. I, I mean, this is like a 2%... F-bomb performance is what you're getting from me here. I, I'm, I'm on a tangent. I'm sorry. Let's go back to the guy pretending to have Down syndrome so that he, women would bathe him. That's because because the world is crazy. It's crazy. I, I'm never surprised either. I'm, I'm never surprised. This happened in Arizona. An Arizona man's been charged after pretending to have Down syndrome so female caregivers would bathe his big hairy body. Police say Paul Menchacha. 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 That sounds like a type of dance. Do you know how to do the menchacha? Uh, Paul Menchacha got the women to change his diapers in addition to bathing him. Change diapers? This guy wore diapers? He pretended to have Down syndrome to wear diapers? Who wants to wear diapers? I mean, I don't know. I guess, I guess like during a night of drinking at the bar, I would love to have a diaper on because then it would limit the amount of times I'd have to go to the restroom. I could just stay at the bar and just drank myself all night. <laughs> that would be kind of cool. But in general, don't want to wear diapers. I don't know. I wouldn't fake that I had a disease or something to wear diapers. <laughs> what the hell? This guy's an awful person. He's been charged with multiple counts of sexual abuse and fraud after being accused of getting aroused during the bathing sessions. Uh, this guy's just a piece of work, you know, and he should go to jail for a long, long time. Uh, Obviously, this is, well, maybe not a long, long time, but a reasonable amount of time that you could attribute to somebody faking uh, Down syndrome to have women bathe him. It is sexual abuse, though, at the end of the day. Outrageous. Outrageous. Uh, what, what else do we need to know about this guy? He has three alleged victims, all women. They responded... <clears throat> they responded in, uh, in May, this is how it all went down, to an ad that this guy placed... Uh, actually, my bad. This guy, Menchacha, responded to an ad uh, of what is a nationwide caregiver marketplace designed to help families easily find, hire, manage, and pay licensed caregivers online. So he reached out to caregivers online, it looks like. And I guess, the, you know, they send these people to your house and stuff, you know, if you have some serious health issues. Uh, these are services sometimes that are even free. Although... In the U.S., probably not so much. <laughs> uh, initially, they were just paid to change his diaper, it looks like. But then, you know, then the bathing began. And that's when the boners began. And then that's when the, the, uh, the felony charges began. <laughs> I mean, you've got to be out of your mind. Huh. <sighs> I gotta take a break. I'm, I'm I'm reading the article off off the cuff here, so I don't know what I, I don't know what I want to say here. So the button on this story is also very exciting. You should know. Um, his trickery was totally unraveled when one of the caregivers got suspicious when visiting his home. She found that his parents were there, and they. They confirmed that he did not have Down syndrome and is actually capable of looking over himself just fine. <laughs> and then that's how, I mean, look, at you can only pretend to have Down syndrome for so long. People are going to know after a while. People are going to know. You can't keep that up all the time, right? You just can't do it. It takes a very special kind of actor. You got to be like, uh, I don't know, who's that? You got to be like Daniel Day-Lewis. You know how he gets involved in an acting role and he just stays in it, like he lives in it? Like... He just becomes Abe Lincoln for like months at a time. Even his wife, like he goes home and he speaks to his wife like, 
Will my dinner be ready in four score? Or like, you know, however Abe Lincoln talked. <laughs> you have to have those kinds of acting skills to keep this up for months on end. And of course, you can't act away a boner. A boner, you know, what are you going to do? Boners come, and you can't act your way out of that. That's evidence right there. Oh, bam, you got the boner. <laughs> uh, I want to thank those of you who sent me this article, those of few of you. <laughs> and it was, it was well worth it.